All right, so one of the nerve-wracking aspects of the war in Ukraine is the takeover of that country's nuclear facilities by Russian troops. First, of course, it was Chernobyl, the site of the world's worst meltdown in 1986. Now, although Chernobyl no longer operate, operates, it still needs to be cooled, and scientists had to continue working to make sure that facility remained safe. Allegations now emerging in the last day or so that vehicle activity uh, by the Russian troops disturbed highly radioactive topsoil. Now recently, a group of South African-based scientists penned an open letter voicing their concerns not only about the potential dangers of this war regarding nuclear sites, but also to call for South Africa to condemn Russia's invasion, which we have not done, of course. Well, Professor Hartmut Winkler from the University of Johannesburg's Department of Physics joins us. Uh, Prof, you're one of the people who signed this letter. So at the time of writing this, around mm -hmm. 10 days ago, hi there, you were quite worried about the, uh, the nuclear power plants. You said, quote, I'm quoting from the letter, our fellow scientists are working under tremendous stress at gunpoint. Now, from what I've read, I think they finally have had a chance to rest. But how concerned is the scientific community about these recent reports uh, that Russian troops arrived at Chernobyl? They didn't know uh, where they'd arrived. Uh, they've been driving around in areas that are absolutely out of bounds, kicking up this radioactive dust, that they've decommissioned some um, radioactive monitoring systems. Uh, you know, what are you hearing within the scientific community about exactly what is going on at New Ukraine's power plants? Yes, well, it's, it's very difficult to get any kind of news uh, out of uh, Ukraine at least the areas where the Russian troops are operating. But yes, what you said is exactly right. There is a reason why nobody's living in, in a circle around the, the former Chernobyl plant. And that's because there's a lot of radioactive material, not just in the, where the plant was itself, but also the area surrounding there. And as you correctly said, 